Good afternoon and thanks for joining us on this wonderful Thursday, Midday Kentucky. How are you, my ladies? Hey, doing well. Um, First time on the new set. I was about to <laughs> just say to you, of course, my little Katie So Love, who's been here since day one mm -hmm. on, on Midday Kentucky, August, uh, November 17, yeah. 2016. Mm -hmm. Can we, we started it? here about the same time. I know. I think I was a few weeks before you. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that um, crazy? And of course, you know. Gorgeous Larkin. Well, thank She's you. She's back. She was having a girls' week. Ooh. In a Las weekend Vegas, a week. It might have been the second time I've been this summer, but it was great. <laughs> oh, it was better the second time. time. Yes. I got you. Well, you're probably all wondering why Miss Katie oh. is here on the show today. And I wanted to just pay a little homage because today, uh, well, tomorrow is your last day. Yeah. I'm not here tomorrow, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a special send off oh, because thank you, you have it. been, you've been an absolute darling to work yeah, with. It's been a lot of fun. Even though we fight like brother and sister. And <laughs> we that's definitely the truth. do. We fight a lot. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. <laughs> Because we, get, you get here a little bit earlier than I, but you come yeah. and eat your breakfast in my office. You know those cauliflower mm -hmm. and broccoli when you're on those crazy runs that you yeah. do. Um, and so it's been fun. I've had a good time, and I want everyone to know what you're doing because you're completely getting out of the business of what we do now. Yeah, I'm making a big change. But first, of course, I have to say thank you to everyone here in Central Kentucky. Everyone has been so kind and just welcoming me into their homes. And, and everyone has been really wonderful. But yeah, I'm making some big changes. And I am moving to Germany I next know. Can you believe week. That? I am launching a destination travel and running blog. It's called Katie on the Run. And it is a running and traveler community for people of all fitness levels. So I'm still going to be doing what I love, telling good stories, but yeah. trying to get into travel journalism. So, yeah, here's a look at my site. I hope that you'll follow me. It's just katieontherun.com. Well, this is the most fun thing about it. It's because I've always made fun of you when you've gone overseas mm -hmm. and, you've, and you've left the table. Okay, because... Um, and I say, she doesn't really run, she shuffles on these <laughs> runs. But it's not true. She actually runs these marathons. And I think it's an amazing journey that you're about to start. I remember a year ago when mm -hmm. you started talking about this is what you eventually would like to get into. What's the scariest thing for you, giving up what we know how yeah. to do mm -hmm. on a daily basis? You know, I think that a lot of people come to a point in life like that where maybe you know something's missing or you want to make a change and it's scary to take that yeah. leap yeah. but I've had a lot of really supportive people you know when I talked to you about it a year ago you encouraged me to start blogging and keeping track of what I've been traveling and doing um, but I found a great blog coach online hobo with a laptop <laughs> and no <laughs> what a cool name right that. yes that is so funny <laughs> and he coaches digital nomads yeah so I have now been working with him I've got my site together and I think just taking that leap out on my own is the scariest thing, uh, diverting from that traditional career path. But then yes. I always think, if not now, when? You know? Exactly. It, it's so it's scary, but it's so exciting. How did you get into this? Like it's so foreign and unique mm -hmm. and crazy to me. How did it start? Well, I think like we talked about before, and you like to travel a lot as yeah. well. It's something that I'm really passionate about. Mm -hmm. I love traveling and. Running, it really changed my life a few years ago. Lost a lot of weight, but like a lot of people, I struggle with accountability. Mm -hmm. I've gained a lot of that weight back. I know we're always on and off the wagon. Well, uh, hold on. <laughs> well while we're talking about this, let's just roll this little back in. Yeah. Because Katie and I, all we do is talk about food. This okay. is me off the wagon coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am eating ice cream. <laughs> and we wonder. We well, wonder. Can I also say, when we used to send Katie out, she used to find these great darn restaurants that I never heard of. And we've both been here the same amount of time. Uh -huh. um, so it was always good for us to watch what she was eating. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And then we'd go there. I know. Well, perfect. I need to check it out because I've been here my whole life, and I'm sure there are so many places that I would scroll through and say, oh, well, I've lived oh, apparently yeah. five minutes from there and had no idea. We got to have to Craig and Boom and man this barbecue. But uh, oh, what I wanted to say about the running is that I really started this for accountability because I still want to have fun and go out and eat. Mm -hmm. but. I need the accountability to keep running, keep interacting with other people. And I've been connecting with so many people on Instagram, Colleen, and going through yes. the same thing. And Troy, you've been posting about that on your Instagram yeah. account. And well, it's so people, nice to talk to people at home. People like <laughs> the fitness posts more than the bathroom posts. Or, do you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> well, like, the bathroom posts, I don't know what. <laughs> you don't like more I mean, I love thing. a good bathroom post, but I'll take a fitness post over that. I, I know what say. I'm saying, though. Yeah. Like, people yeah. do fine. Because I will say, Katie, as much as we 
do overindulge and mm -hmm. we always talk about weight and things that yeah. we do on this show mm -hmm. but one of the things that I find you do eat whatever you want still but you're out there running every day yeah. and that's the difference and I've been doing this um, I've been it's been 14 days my lifestyle challenge I'm calling mm -hmm. it okay. not a diet how's it going I am ripping into it all right. I am loving it, people. Good. You know I was sore last week and I used Dusty's wheelchair. Okay. I saw that. But this is good now. I'm good. I went to the gym on Tuesday on my own free will. My trainer was there. He wasn't with me on the day. But he came over and kicked my backside, even though I was just... Because, but anyway, yes, it is what it is. That's what he has to do. So, my darling, thank you. Thanks for having me, everyone. And, and yeah. I'm sorry I won't have anyone to fight with at 8 in the morning. I anymore. know. We really fight because he comes in and it's already the end of my day because you know, I anchor the morning show, so I'm always testy. Yes, <laughs> you're done. You're at your wits' yeah. end. And then so look, look out, Dusty. Thanks for putting up with you're me. You're next on the roll. <laughs> Lucky you, right Dusty. You? Yeah, she's like running already. All right, let's get on with the show, everyone. Do you tend to shop online while enjoying an alcoholic beverage? I do this for you, Katie. You're not alone. A new study reveals that nearly half of Americans participate in drunk shopping, meaning they have purchased something under the influence within the last year. Now, can you guess the average people spent while drunk shopping? What do you think it is, people? What do you think they spent? Me pers well, well, do we'll you drunk shop? I buzz shop. Oh, buzz, buzz shop. shop. Yeah, it gives me I that do. courage to oh, buy what okay. I've been looking at. I definitely do. And I, I think that we you're should just, Amazon this queen, is probably though. obvious, but Same. we should reiterate, this is online shopping yes. when you're drinking at home. Yes. yes. No driving With out the to the stores. But did you say that? 400, <laughs> yeah. That average is 450 bucks. Wow. That is insane. And it's up. That now, the average insane. in 2017 um, is the top three favorite things by food, clothes, and of course shoes. What else would you buy online? I definitely do uh, food after having a glass of wine. That um, do DoorDash or Uber Eats, mm -hmm. you know, that you can just get nice restaurants yeah. delivered. That's your true. House. I didn't even think when about that. Apartment. See, my oh, head went to it. Amazon and all the things that she I buy. Was, I used to always make fun of her because oh. she'd, she'd come in on the show uh -huh. and talk about the new $6 top she just bought. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? On Amazon. Yes. And yes. I'd be like, can you stop buying $6 stop tops? It. No. Do you know what I mean? Like, in <laughs> fact, now that you say that, that reminds me, I may have just recently purchased a pair of wedge rain boots on Amazon when I was buzz shopping. I wasn't drunk, but I had been looking at them forever, and finally I had a you glass of wine. But did like, you get a good deal? Got a great deal, See? and I got a ton of compliments Perfect. on it. You know, I think it's a good thing to do. Plus, I like the deals on Amazon, so then I can buy yes. the wine. Yes. I got you. Tell us what you think. Tell us whether you buzz shop, as you say. I like that one better. All right, is it hard to admit you did something wrong? and apologize, but it is also hard to accept an apology. It takes a lot of maturity to accept one and then forgive that person. How are you guys at forgiving with an apology? If someone was to give you an apology, do you forgive them or do you hold a, uh, a little grudge still? Let's be real. Let's be real. For being real here, Nine months ago, I would have definitely held a grudge. <laughs> but I guess somehow in the last nine months, I was going to say, what has happened up, in this yeah, time? Right. I, I need mean, to do it. Well, you know, I don't know. I feel Who like apologized? I've hit that adult. Yeah, right? <laughs> Robbie, finally. Gosh, I told him to put that toilet seat down. Um, anyway, no, I've gotten so much better about not holding a grudge and forgiving people but not forgetting. I think that that's the biggest thing. You can remember that this person's hurt you or they've mm -hmm. done something to you and you can forgive them for it, but just keeping that in the forefront of your mind moving forward, I've been a lot better about that. But yeah, 10 months ago. I have story. to be honest, I struggle with this. I did not forgive people. <laughs> Don't make it depends. Mad. If it's someone close to me, I find it very hard to forgive them. Little yes. things that you know, acquaintances or something do. I don't really care, but I, it's hard for me. I just had a recent fight with my sister, and then I didn't speak to her for two I days. I sort of missed these conversations. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, I'm being honest. It is something I struggle with. Yeah. I, I should be more forgiving. Well, what did I say? You walked in this morning into my office, <laughs> and you said hi. I said yes, Katie. And you said what's wrong? I said I'm still a little raw from the other day. So even though... And then I said, okay, I'll be back in five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Times are changed. The wind will blow. But oh, I gosh. think I can forgive. Yes. I never forget. Oh, ever. Right. I can still think of things from years ago. Agreed. That yeah. why <laughs> someone and I... But then there's other reasons. There's other times that I think... I haven't spoken to that person for 10 years and I know we're not talking. Mm -hmm. Do you think I can remember why we're not talking? Mm -hmm. But then you just have to be a man and ring and say, hey, you either, I don't know why we're not talking, I miss you. Right. What did I do? What did you do? Yeah, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Let's move on. It's water or under see the bridge. Move on. Well, you I was going to ask you, this makes me think, 
Um, I think I might struggle less with apologizing. Sometimes, not so much forgiving, but when you know you need to make that apology. Do you think that's hard to do? I would agree. That's where I struggle, for sure. Yeah, no, I don't. Because if, really if you really mean that you're, you're sorry. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. true. You know, I, I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem when I, when I feel that someone is wanting an apology that isn't warranted. Yes. But yeah. they think it is. Yes. So I'm more of, I'm sorry you feel that way. Yeah. Oh, put I mean? that word yeah. that That's a housewife of Orange County step. Yes. Yeah. I sure. saw you, um, speaking of bathroom posts, go over to Troy's <laughs> Instagram page. Oh, I saw you in your bathrobe and your towel getting ready for the housewives yes. last night. So everyone go check that out. Then comment what you think of that <laughs> outfit. Do you know, I think probably every other video that you post, my husband will say, did you see that video that Troy posted of him getting his whatever? Did you see my that video? Waxed. Your nose waxed. Yeah, I thought so you were going to say something else and I'm like, well, be careful. Yeah, yeah well, you know. You know. <laughs> no, but I thought no. It was the Real Housewives of Reunion of New York last night, and it, it was owed a homage. Mm. So I wore my personalized white bathrobe, which very Joan Crawford of me. Yes. Mm. And with a big turban, and I don't know. I just felt like it. But the, you know what the bad thing is? I went out of my way to buy the Skinny Girl popcorn from Bethany mm. Frankel. Uh -huh. I get home, I open it up. I bought skinny popcorn, <gasps> not skinny girl, girl popcorn. Oh, so I then know. I couldn't, I couldn't do my skit as well as I wanted uh, it. I was gonna ask if she was still on the show. I love the skinny oh, girl yeah. wine. Have you had it? No, I have. Well, had the no, wine. I've only it's had good. the margarita. Dr the yeah, her margarita. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's a Fruit yes. Loop or something like. Oh, I'm telling you, buy the popcorn. Anyway, enough about plugging about the housewives. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Tell us whether you. Well, think. we were plugging the food. I think. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Um, go over to our Facebook page, Midday Kentucky. The company that became famous by microchipping their employees, with their permission, they are now giving the chip an upgrade. You know, I think we talked about this just recently. They now want to add GPS and vital readings to the devices, which already contain your identification and credit cards. This would provide a way to track people with dementia as well as provide other benefits. Alrighty. I think this is brilliant. You've got a cheating husband or wife, microchip them. them. Microchip them. I and think it's good. There you go. It's going to save you a lot of money. What do we think? Well, I think there should be consent involved. <laughs> <laughs> right. You can't just forcefully hold them no, down. No, as you walk in, zash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Where have you been? A, a really small one when they're sleeping. There you go. There what you go. do you think? Because I, the, this company already, the staff have volunteered to have the chip put in. Yes. They're now testing more things. Yes. I think, especially for the dementia patients, I think it's a good idea because yeah. so often, and I used to kind of work in the realm of dementia when I sold a, a product for it, those patients walk away and they walk out of the nursing home or they walk away from their own home and then they're gone. And you're worried about your parent. You're worried about your grandmother, your grandfather. It's great for that. I don't know if I would ever want one for me personally. I think the ones that the employees have, like, have their credit card information and they can go up to the vending machines. I'd rather just swipe my card instead of having to. Do you know how many uh, times I've lost my cards? Yes. Well, then I have Apple Pay. Hmm. I leave them in those chip readers at the supermarket. Oh, I my just goodness. hate it. Yeah. I ha like, I need to learn how to put that Apple thing on your phone. Yes, you do. Mm. You need to do it. It's I don't know how. I or just get a chip. Either. Chip yourself. Well, I've, <laughs> I've got a chip on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same thing? There you go. <laughs> All righty, everybody.